It might not look like much, but it's the only copy in the world of an ancient text retelling the stories in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. And it's on display at the Shrine of the Book in Jerusalem's Israel Museum. For the first time ever, we put on display column 10 of this manuscript. It's a uh, document written in Aramaic from 2,000 years ago. And specifically, this manuscript is telling the story about Noah. The parchment is so fragile, it can only be viewed for 30 seconds at a time at the press of a button. It's from a section of the Genesis Apocryphon, one of the seven scrolls found in 1947 in caves on the northwestern shores of the Dead Sea. The Genesis Apocryphon is among some of the earliest known copies of biblical texts. Many of the Dead Sea Scrolls outlined the beliefs of a mysterious Jewish sect that dwelled in the area thousands of years ago. The Dead Sea Scrolls, they come from a very significant period of time uh, out of which uh, the historical Judaism and Christianity emerge. So in this sense, the Dead Sea Scrolls is like traveling into the tunnel of time, reaching the real people who live in the land of Israel 2,000 years ago. Another exhibit at the museum looks at the incredible history behind the scrolls and the long journey they made all the way from the caves in Qumran to the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. In 1947, Bedouin shepherds stumble upon the precious manuscripts in a series of caves in the Judean desert. Mohammed Adib and his cousin Juma Mohammed found the scrolls in jars and sold them to antiquities dealers. Archaeologists later returned to Qumran and continued excavations, finding thousands of written fragments. The Dead Sea Scrolls is a major uh, discovery. Uh, some people argue that it is the most important archaeological discovery uh, in the world in the 20th century. 